Hey, what's up guys? It's Jamie. It is Monday. I'm actually home today. I had some errands to run and uh, before my phone dies, I just want to do a quick video. I will uh, plop in my um, uh, Robin Hood account challenge where I'm just trying to get to 100,000. I'm close to 15. I feel like if I can get over 25 before the month ends, um, I got a shot. I got a shot. I have a good feeling. Okay. But um, I wanted to share first some something uh, about investing in yourself. I think it's important. Again, I always have the premise as I'm speaking to a friend, family member, a person that, that I care about. Um, and you can't make everybody happy. Not everybody's going to listen. Not everybody's going to agree with you. And, and mostly I think of my children if they watch this. Now I'm sweating because I've been carrying these weights and I haven't worked out in months. And it's a, it's a bad excuse. But the other day I was like, all right, I need to, I need to tighten up. Not because I want to get buff and, you know, like go oh, enter any contest. But it's better to, as you get, whether you're younger or older, to have these disciplines, these practices, whether you walk, like I got this, this Fitbit, you know, so I can kind of keep an eye on my steps, right? I'm trying to do at least 10,000 steps. And, um, you know, and, and I, I joined this gym a while back called Lifetime Fitness. Great gym, you know, but it's like 189 bucks a month. And I, I just wasn't going as much. Now, they had a spa, or what do you call it, a, a sauna, a, um, a steam room. A hot, a hot tub of some kind, like where not as I don't know. I think it's not really a hot tub, right? But it's like a, um, yeah, kind of like a hot tub. People go in there and they kind of relax. Big, big ones, you know, like giant one. They have an indoor pool, outdoor pool. So I have nothing bad to say about the place. I think it's an awesome place. But I was finding that I was not being, I was not able to get there. So I was like, well, I'm just wasting the money. So I used to during the COVID, I had some weights down here behind me and this little makeshift gym, but I didn't really have much weights, right? But I just bought a bunch of weights. Let me see here. And, um, you know, I'm gonna put some of these, these mats, oh, this is my kid's old mat, but I'm gonna get some nicer mats and like do this whole area, paint this up, maybe put mirrors up here, you know, just, I'm gonna like turn this into a little gym area. Nothing crazy, I'm not gonna go bananas, I just, you know, make it functional. And I had a treadmill, I sold it. Um, I think I'm going to get another one, but I got these weights, man. Weights are still expensive. Like if you go to, I went to Dick's Sporting Good and you can see over there, I, you know, I bought some, uh, some, some clothes, but I got, I asked them how much are these weights with you guys? And just one weight, like the, these forties, I'm going to put these on Facebook cause I already have a pair of forties. You know, uh, I go, how much are this forties? He goes, Oh, 60, like it was under $65. And I thought, well, that's not, I guess, you know, that's not, he goes, no, that's for one. I was like, oh, 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 okay. So it's still, still up there. So I got all these weights. I got this 40, which I don't need, which I'm just going to sell. I think I can get a hundred for that. And then I got these 65s, the 55s, 60s, and uh, uh, 65s, right? 60, 50, 55. Anyway, I got, I got all these, uh, these weights for 500 bucks. And I think, I'm, um, you know, with, with the uh the 40s i don't need them so essentially 400 dollars, and and i got this 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 uh new uh, uh bench right so and it has an incline decline because this one's broken hated spending the money today like i can't stand spending money right on certain things but it's a self-investment so like you know you got physical mental spiritual intellectual you know uh, intellectual intellectual like different things that that uh, that make you make you who you are, right? Mental health. Uh, I try to educate myself. I, I got some course, a couple courses I bought. One was with Grant Cardone. It was, it was cheap. It was like a book, and then he, did, he had like this option where you could do a uh, an audio. And I like Grant Cardone. I personally, I, I like him. And he has an audio, um, uh, you know, book where of the of the book I got, which I was like, I don't know if I'll ever read this thing, but he gave me the option. I would have just took the audio book, but they mail you the uh, the book as well. I think it was called uh, Real Estate Investing Made Easy, simple, something like that. So I've been listening to that, and uh, you know, I went to the Mac, the Apple store to, to potentially buy a MacBook Pro or a, uh, an, uh, an, uh, an iPad Mini, I think it's called, or something like that. So I, I was going to try to step my game up as I get ready to do some more stuff with Gary and Giovanni uh, and some other people, but... I, I wanted to make sure that I'm investing in myself and the physical part because, you know, your, your health is important. And if you're taking care of yourself, you can, you can get some of the stress out. You can, you know, uh, uh, you know, you feel better. You have more energy. Um, it's just, it's just better for you. And, and I'm not uh, a, a guru or any of that kind of stuff. I'm just saying that this is something that I'm doing 
And as I get older, I'm trying to make sure that it's it's something that I'm investing some of my money. So even though it killed me to give that guy the 500 bucks and then to go to Dick's Sporting Goods and spend another 600 bucks, which I, I just bought some like some gear like you know to to, to wear, to you know, and uh, I'll probably bring half of it back. My wife's funny because she'll she'll buy stuff from like Nordstrom or Macy's, and it's usually 80 percent to to 80 somewhere between 80 to 90 percent of it goes back. And uh, they, they've gotten to know me there if I'm if I'm like dropping it off for them, so, but anyway, so that's that's something I want to mention is I hope you're you're uh, uh, doing something for yourself whether it's learning, uh, educating yourself about something you have interest in. Uh, I've done that more over the past few years, doing some type of physical activity because it's it's better for you that's for sure, as, as well as the diet and, and all that other stuff. But uh, keep active, keep moving around. It's it's a it's a good thing. Okay, so let's jump into the uh, stock stuff that I'm doing in Robinhood. It's been a pretty good week, but I'm not overly excited. I'm just kind of looking for opportunities. And I think in the next video I do, I'm going to talk about having dry powder and what that means. You know, for some of the wealthy people I know, that's how they speak. And uh, I think that's important to talk about too. But for now, I'll show you what I got going on. All right, so I'm just going to share my screen. This is from yesterday, actually. I'm doing a voiceover because for some reason I'm not getting my, uh, I'm not getting any audio. So oh, oh, in um, in this recording, I'll be able to do this. So you can see I'm, I'm making a little money on the Tesla puts because I, I felt like on the charts Tesla was going to pull back. It was pretty high. I did buy one share just to kind of see. It got up, you know, into the into the nine twenty thirty. I think it went as high as nine forty. But um, it's definitely been pulling back. So I made a little money with the with that. Uh, Volta, I, I figured would go down. I tried to sell my position today, but I couldn't get out of it. I was, I was up uh, a little bit of money there as well. But got rid of Amazon, got rid of um, Volta because I thought it might, it might pull back into those previous uh, price action ranges. I bought one Ethereum because I've been hearing some news about Ethereum. I'm just going to see where that goes. Um, I don't suggest buying cryptocurrency on Robinhood, but you know I do. I do mess around with it. I just grabbed one to see if I could make fifty to hundred bucks in case Ethereum took off a, a little bit, and it did. I did get up a little bit, but now it's pulled back today as I uh, record this. But you can see Volta had gotten up. I think the two ninety. I didn't get the top of that. Too bad. I would. I would have liked to get a little more um, price action, um, but. I got out as it got from 230 up to 250 something and I was pretty much out there. I didn't get that that next move, but I did get some on the way down on the puts. You can see Volta on that trend. I have my little trend line there of uh, the price action. You can see that it, you know, it kind of bounces around there. I'm not a technical master. Um, I learned that stuff. I just was like, okay, it's topped off there and you can see it went all the way up to 290. I'm going to assume it's going to come back down to this two dollar range and i was at 213 so if i could lock in some profits which i did and get back under 213 certainly um depending on what happens if i can make another 10 20 30 cents for whatever shares i'm i'm happy to do so at one t at one point i was down uh over three thousand dollars with volta with the shares that i was holding i had 3800 shares so gotta be patient sometimes uh, especially in, in this market i grabbed some uh some yeti um just seeing what's going on with that again amazon same kind of thing you can see it's it kind of got over over to me it got over overbought and i think it was going to pull back so i'm waiting to see what happens there plus the premiums aren't paying that well but you might be okay with making a couple hundred bucks a month you know there's nothing wrong with that um i'm just i kind of got a heftier price target i'm trying to get to 25 grand before the month's over so i got to kind of look for something a little bit more volatile on the up or down so that's what i'm kind of watching here uh for for the stock stuff <clears throat> again i'm not suggesting that you buy and sell stocks i'm just saying that that my goal for this robin hood account was to get to 100 grand and and this is some of the stuff that i kind of watch day in and day out usually i jump out when i get to five or ten grand and then i try to repeat it over and over again this will be the first time in this account where i try to hit 100 grand and um and, and I can make lots of excuses for what the market's doing, but you still, you know, you just got to pay attention to companies that are recession proof or, or have some things going on. But be careful because um, the rug could get pulled out from you at any time. 
All right, guys, so that's it. That's my Robin Hood share, and I hope you all have a great, uh, well, it's Wednesday as I'm doing this video, so um, as I'm wrapping up the video. But my buying power is at 22 grand, and I'd mostly, you know, half of that's margin. But, um, you know, if you get the right stuff, you, you should be okay. But be careful with margin. You don't want to get, um, get in over your head, okay? All right, guys, have a good one. I'll talk to you later. See you next video.